working on thinning this mustard cover crop out of from between the garlic. We planted the garlic in fall and the mustard uh, is supposed to keep the click beetles and wire worms at bay. So it's an experiment we're trying. Um, we're supposed to use brown mustard, but this is a different type of mustard. Uh, Farmer Neil has plucked the mustard out of this side and laid it in the rows and I'm going to try to copy what he did and do the same on this other side here. more difficult than I thought it would be. The mustard's very long and leggy and it kind of lays along the ground and then goes up. So you have to try to pull this from around uh, the garlic without snapping the garlic off um, and then lay it in the path and in between the garlic so that when we till it later the nutrients that were collected from that cover crop will go back into the soil. I've never done this style before where you plant a cover crop in between and then have to pluck that out um, and not pluck out your crop that you're trying to grow. I'm really happy to be learning this style. It's good to experiment on how to do things different ways. I'm finding it's easier to kind of clear out a whole area um, working this way, throw it into the aisle, and then after you get to a certain point that's clear, start backfilling a little bit, otherwise uh, on the edge, it can get hard to tell uh, where you're at. Trying to figure out how to do this the most efficient way. First time I've done it. I've switched gloves. My fingers were getting very cold. Um, it's winter, although it's very sunny out. These gloves are warmer when I use them. Um, but it's harder to feel what you're pulling out this way. So I'm just about done with the entire section here of pulling out the mustard. 
I'm just going to do this much more because we have a third partner and I want to leave her a little test patch so she can try out this method. Um, as I went along, I went more with the method of just clearing out all the mustard, putting it in the path, and then um, I'm going to go back and put it in between the rows later. And um, what I've been doing is just pulling from the very outside of the row and then moving in so that it's all kind of clear before I um, get to the next section. So I'm just going to finish up here. last part didn't take uh, very long at all um, and so that's uh, all there is for this section of the mustard trimming.